Who in the world would spend a ton more money on a professionally made night guard at the dentist's office when you can just go to the grocery store and you can buy one yourself for like 20 bucks? In case you don't know me, I get this question weekly from my patients. I get this question all the time. Why can't I just go over the counter and get one at Walmart, at the grocery store, or off of Amazon? In today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why you probably don't wanna do that, but also I'm gonna tell you the differences between the two. First off, these are not the same. This is a professionally made night guard and is made by a dentist at a professional dental lab. You have the dentist overlooking it, you have the lab technician making it and overlooking it, decades of experience in making these and they are custom fit to you. They cost about $700, they're pretty expensive. Now the over-the-counter ones are about $20, maybe $30. There are some different varying ones, some fancy ones, some that are a little bit more expensive, some that are super cheap, but I don't really trust the materials that are in here, number one. And two, I wanna tell you a very quick story about somebody who got it stuck in their mouth. This is a patient, it is not my patient, and they got their night guard stuck in their mouth. Basically, he was boiling this in one of his little boilers in the kitchen and it got stuck in his mouth and he had this in his mouth. He couldn't chew very well. Obviously he couldn't eat very well. He had to spend the night within his mouth. The next day he woke up and he called his dentist. The dentist looked at it, had no idea what to do and he sent him to the oral surgeon. It starts to get real expensive when an oral surgeon gets involved compared to a general dentist. So, so now it's gonna cost this guy a lot of money to get this out. Basically the oral surgeon just drilled it out of his mouth. That must have been a very nerve wracking experience. Professionally made night guards are actually made from a very hard acrylic material. So this is going to be very, very dry and potentially they're going to last for a very long time. How long do these last? I get this question all the time as well. And they last until you wear them out. I've had patients wear them out in six months. And I've also had patients that have had these for like 10, 20 years. Now, after about eight, nine years, these do get a little bit gross. You do have to take care of them and maintenance them every once in a while and clean them. A lot of times you can bring them into the dentist's office and we have an ultrasonic cleaner. We can clean them for you, but you have to keep up with the maintenance, but they get kind of gross after about eight to 10 years. And we always recommend replacing them, especially if we can see that you're grinding the heck out of them. And the process to make these is actually very simple. We take a digital scan. We don't have to use that goopy material that gags you every time that's got that horrible taste in it. We actually just do a digital scanner and that digital scanner takes about five minutes. We email it to the lab, we get it back in a week and now you have your new night guard. We've, I've never had a problem with the fit. The fit is very custom to you and patients always just pop them in and you're good to go. So here are some other benefits of getting a professionally made one. Yes, they are expensive, but sometimes dental insurance actually can cover this. So if you're an in-network provider, let's say I'm an in-network provider for you, I actually can't charge like $1,000 for these. I have to charge what the insurance tells me to charge. So that cuts the price down a little bit. What also cuts down on the price is if they actually have coverage for it. So that'll cut the price down even more. So they're not as expensive if your insurance is not only in-network, but has night guard coverage. These night guards also have a very custom fit. So the ones that I really like are hard on the outside. The acrylic's very, very thick, where you're gonna be biting on it most, which is on the back teeth, and has a very soft lining on the inside. Now this soft lining is really nice because it's very healthy for your gums and it's very forgiving. So it's going to be tight, but it's not going to be too tight. It's going to be forgivable tight. In other words, it's just going to fit very comfortably. Another advantage to this is that they are very long lasting. These things will last you a very, very, very long time. Now the store-bought ones are probably just a good temporary fix for a few months, maybe a year, but they're not going to last you a very long time. Another thing you need to know about the professionally made ones is that they're made in a specific way for a specific grinding pattern. What I mean by that is that when you bite down on a professionally made night guard, you need to be biting on it even. It's very critical that all your teeth are biting on it all at the same time so that it's not like one tooth or two teeth are biting on it because those teeth are gonna be sore if you grind your teeth and you're just leveraging only those teeth. The other thing about this is that it actually is gonna make your canines, for example, grind out and give more force in the canines than these lower teeth. The lower teeth are weaker, the roots are smaller, the canines roots are just very, very long, and it is much better to be grinding on the canines than your incisor teeth. So we make this professionally with like these little ramps so that when you're grinding forward, you're grinding with the canines, and when you grind to the left, you're grinding with the molars in the canines. We call those excursive movements, just a fancy word for, we are customizing the way that you grind your teeth at night, and we are controlling the way you bite. That is critical and that is one thing that the other night guards or the other mount guards do not do. Another advantage of this is that they're very easy to get used to. Most patients get used to these very, very easily. Maybe it takes uh, three days, maybe up to a week, but most patients find these very comfortable and very easy to use. And I get it, it's expensive, but what is more expensive is dental crowns. So like, let's say you have a lot of silver fillings on your teeth and you have cracks all over those and you you've historically have had a lot of grinding in your life and you need to stop grinding, $700, just gonna throw a random number, that's not how much I charge, but just a random number. Let's say you spend $700 on a night guard. It is going to help preserve your teeth. So for example, if I'm your dentist and I'm looking down at your teeth and I'm worried about your teeth breaking because they have cracks all over the place, 
I'm gonna tell you to get a night guard for $700 so you can spend $1,000 or $2,000. A lot of times these patients who have these really big silver fillings in their teeth and there's cracks everywhere and they just have these really overactive muscles and they're a nighttime grinder, which we also call bruxism, those patients need the night guard and it's an inexpensive fix relative to the dental crowns or the missing teeth. Now, when you miss a tooth, now you're looking at a very expensive missing the tooth, getting an implant, and that gets into the five, six, seven thousand dollar range. So relatively, it is inexpensive, and this is why I try to tell patients: if you're going to get a hard night guard, or the counter ones are fine temporarily till you get a hard one, but the hard ones are just not even in the same ballpark. They're not even in the same level as the store-bought ones, the over-the-counter ones. So speaking of the over-the-counter ones, the cheap ones, the $20 ones, let's talk about those. The only thing that I like about those as a general dentist is that they're 20 bucks, they're cheap. It's a good temporary fix for a short amount of time, maybe two months, six months, maybe max. It's better to have that maybe in some instances than actually doing nothing. Other than being cheap, I don't trust the chemicals that are in these things. It's an unknown chemical. I actually don't like that you have to boil it because when you raise the temperature of these plastic, uh, because when you raise the temperature of things like these plastic materials, who knows what is being leaked out of them, what resins, what chemicals are in there. And also, depending on where you get these, they may not be FDA approved. I know a lot of this stuff is coming from these different social media platforms. And if you're not fully convinced from a general dentist who's been doing this for over 12 years about which one to get and why it's worth it to get the professionally made one, let's ask, let's ask old trusty chat GPT what he thinks. Is a professionally made dentist night guard better than an over-the-counter one? It says, yes, a night guard is generally better than an over-the-counter one for several reasons. Number one, customized fit and comfort. Number two, effective protection against damage. Talk a little bit about that. Three, durability and longevity. Four, professional guidance and adjustment. Because it's not just about giving you one, slapping one in your mouth, but we're here to help you along the way. If you drop it, if you break it, if, you, if we need to smooth it, there's a lot of things that we can do to customize it for the next 10 years that you're wearing it. Another thing I wanted to do is I wanted to look at Amazon reviews of these cheap night guards online to see what other people are saying. So if you don't believe me, you can actually look at real world reviews online. And like everything that I review, I always like to go to the one star reviews on here and not look at the five star ones. Uh, here we go from MK, mold leaves sharp points. Despite reading the other reviews about night guard creating mold and pointy triangles on the underside of the guard, I bought this anyways. Unfortunately, the reviews are right. Okay, next one, super nice guard, but did not last. Sam, one star review, did not fit my mouth. Okay, this one came from a actual dentist. From a dentist, do not recommend. I tried out this project, I, I tried this product out for fun compared to a professionally made one. First of all, this is no better than your standard like football night guard, your football mouth guard. But I'm very curious because she says she's a dentist. It says dentist in my spare time. I'm kind of getting down in the rabbit hole here, but dentist spare time. I'm kind of get down. I'm kind of getting down in the rabbit hole here, but she looks too young to be a dentist, I think. And then basically, I'm searching and searching all over the internet for different value that I can bring you and different opinions that people have. And I came across this one on a website that gives a very non-biased opinion. Dennis wants me to buy a $700 night guard. Is it worth it or not? And these guys are giving him their responses. So this person commented that their hygienist said that it is the best option. The night guards are actually worth it. And if you have gum recession and you have a gum graft where we basically pull the gums up, it's going to cost $600 to $3,000 per tooth. This person said $700 is way too expensive. It costs only $420. Maybe look for an in-network dentist or find another dentist that can get you one for cheaper. Which I totally agree. If you can get one cheaper from another dentist down the street, that's really not a bad thing. If you're gonna get one and wear one, that's a lot more important than how much you pay for it. But I do like that all these comments aren't, act but I do like the majority of these comments are not directing you towards the $20 ones and telling you how great they are. And that's all I have for today's video. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I helped convince you that getting a, hopefully today I did a great job of convincing you why it is well worth the money to get a professionally made one and why it is a totally different one than the $20 night guards that you get over the counter or you just get on Amazon or some of these other websites. So hopefully I convince you that it is worth it. Grinding is such a big problem for patients. It is probably the number one thing that just destroys patients' teeth and their gums and gum recession. It causes cracked teeth. It causes all these tension headaches, migraines. It is a slew of problems that can be, it is just a slew of problems that can be prevented by a simple night guard. Yes, $700 is expensive. And anytime you can limit the amount of dental work that you get, the more money you're gonna save. But hopefully today I built up enough value so that you realize it's worth it.